Hello everyone and welcome to another vlog. So for this week we are doing something I have not done before. We're going to read some new new popular books. So these are basically Goodreads are making these lists, lists that are most popular books published in da, da, da. you have like a lot of years. So this is from January 2023 and these are the books most frequently added to Goodreads members shelves and it's updated weekly. So do I have picked books from there the I just picked those that I find interesting I mean I will if I remember I will link the like list down below just because I find it really interesting so I have picked I hope to get to three I have already started one of them and one of them is an audiobook and then the third one I have not yet decided so the first one the audiobook is like the top popular book in January like the on the top with 250 shelvings so this one is going you know on shelvings like these have added it they have not read it but uh, they have added it that, that is why it's the most popular one but also popular in the amount of ratings with 66.7k ratings and if you have not yet this, like figured out what it it's spare by harry and i'm just curious to be completely honest i'm not reading this to i won't give it a rating just because i never rate you know these types of books i don't rate non-fiction books just because that is not my best you know place so the next one is also one that i have been started to read and that is song of silver flame flame like night this is a new i think it's a debut it is like five ish hundred pages on my kindle and i am going to read that i i am already 100 pages in and so far i am really liking this it's really interesting uh what else uh the last book i don't even remember was the something i'm going to find it here um so <clears throat> one book that i kind of wanted to read is the stolen air but i want to own it because it's in the elfheim uh universe so it's definitely one that I want to get to, but I want to own the book and I don't feel like ordering that just yet, just because I need to read how the King of Elfheim, um, something with stories, I don't even remember what the name is, um, how he learned to hate stories or something in those lines. I also have loads of other ones that i really want to get to i have just um like those that i have figured out that these sound inter interesting i have like um added them to my shelf just so i am able to get to them in the <laughs> probably like in the <laughs> long future mm. the last one is the reunion <clears throat> And this is a romance, basically perfect for the fans of Christina Lauren and Sally Thorne. I have not read Sally Thorne. But it's basically like the top says when two former teen stars reconnect at the reunion for their hit TV show, they discover their feelings for one another were not merely scripted in this charming and heartwarming novel. That is the last one. So those are the three that i am putting on this dvr that i really want to get to that has been uh like popular this one is number 78 and um yeah spear is number one and then um uh, song of silver from flame like night night is number 29 so yeah i will do this every month hopefully probably but I might have to read some other things. But these are my main focus. Uh, I am doing something in the book club that I am a part of. 
So I also need to focus on books from there. <clears throat> but that doesn't start until the first, so see. And then I will talk more about these books when I have, you know, something to say about them when I have read a little bit, because I need to get into uh, Single Silver Flame Like Night, and then we'll talk about that, what it's about and everything, so. So, it's Tuesday, so you will most likely get, like me, opening a package today. I do believe it's books. I haven't gotten it yet, like, I haven't picked it up yet. So, yeah. But the reason why I came on, I have been reading... Okay, so I have figured out that um, the three books that I have set out to read, basically, they all are an audiobook. And we, we all know that I sometimes feel like listening to audiobooks and sometimes I don't. This week, I am just like, let's do the audiobook route. So it's three hours on an audiobook every day, which should be totally fine. I did that yesterday, so that's a check. So, I listened to two hours of Spare, and um, what should I say about this book? Um, so far, I mean, I don't 100% love, um, like, things like I, I I don't love um biographies and memoirs and things like that I don't love them um so two hours in that is like four hours because I listen to double speed so four hours in um, it's just little not boring but boring so it's not like i just feel like there are two things when i listen to an audiobook one i am like not feeling like actually continuing on that is how i'm feeling right now i mean i am going to continue on but it's not like something that i am like loving that I am so intrigued by that I just want to keep on reading that's not the feeling I am feeling right now I don't have that feeling right now I do I mean this is a really long audiobook it's like 15 and a half hours long so it's really really long for I mean it's 400 pages and uh That's a lot. Let's just put it that way. It's a lot. Um, it's fine so far. I just, yeah, I, I don't really know what I am going to say. It's, yeah. I mean, I will say that, yes, the press have treated, right now we are only with Harry and his family, like, and yes, the press have treated him really badly, and, um, it just sucks that press, no matter, not like who you are, but no matter when you are like famous in some way, it's just really, I just find it really sad that we are twisting it. So just people become really like badly, like bad people, even if they are not. And um, yeah, I just find it really sad when the the press is that way, and uh, yeah, I cannot say anything about that though, so. Um, and yeah, and then I have also read, uh, listened to an hour, like that is two hours though, uh, but to the reunion, and this one I am so far really, really loving. So is this. I don't know what to call it, like friends to lovers, probably. I we have not gotten to the lovers part yet, though. But. So this one is like seven, eight hours, maybe. Has to be longer. I don't really know. Um, and it's about these two people who were on a TV show together when they were like 
is it 10 or 20 years ago? It's quite a long time ago. I think they maybe were teenagers, so they are maybe in their like 20s or 30s. I, yeah. And basically they had like a reunion, like a, an episode where all is like uh, reunited. And uh, there might be like a continuing continuation of that TV show now, years later. And basically, these two people were on-screen lovers and off-screen best friends. She had a crush on him. But basically, he got together with another girl and then he kind of broke everything off because he just wanted to move on with that girl. So now it's been years later and they are meeting again. So far it's really cute. I am two hours in. So far I am really loving this book. I have to say it's really sweet and really cute and yeah. I just feel like sometimes I feel like when like friends or um, like people together break off. It's like this st stupid reason, let's call it that. Like these broke off as friends and but I don't kind of feel like the reason was stupid just because he felt like that was the right thing to do at that current time because you know he was in love with someone else and uh, yeah. So that's how far we are here. Um, the um, Song of Flames, Silver of Flames, I don't remember the, that, that book. Uh, that comes out um, basically on the uh, audiobook platform that I'm using here in Norway called Storytel. It comes out the 2nd of February, so I will start listening to that then. And that will probably be the one that I am listening to at the next half of this week and finish off because I mean I am almost I am like 98 pages in so I have gotten like a little bent in so I will just skip up to the point where I am um, and yeah so far I'm really enjoying it I do want to kind of finish the reunion on um, like before the next comes out on Storytel so I can start listening to that without listening to three audiobooks at a time. And Spare will... I will probably tar try and read some more of that as well. Um, I might, you know, just might speed it up a little until I feel like it's starting to get more interesting. Because right now it's just a meh book, you know. So, it's a little later. I have... Um, picked up my package so we are going to open this <clears throat> I I do know that in here it's four paperbacks the reason why I can say it is um, that's what the packet package says so in here it should be four so I don't think I have ever received um, this large of a package from Book Depository. I usually, uh, usually I get like one and one book, but apparently we get sent. Oh, oh we have this annoying plastic. So let's see. I do know what this is because I ordered it myself. So here is the. This one? Okay, so we have Fire Falling, which is the second book in the Air Awakened series. And I can't wait. Um, so, if anyone has seen my TBR that is going up as the day I'm filming this, um, I have to edit it right now. But I have a Fantasy Romance Week, so I will most definitely read this one during that week and something else so the next one down here is oh this is huge is a uh, curse of darkness this is uh, book three in uh, the dark court rising 
so I just feel like these are just getting darker and darker. He looks really angry. So, um, I can't wait to read this. It's really, really long. It's, I don't know, what of darkness. It's 600 pages. So, this is also a fantasy romance that I will read. Try and read during fantasy romance week. And then we, of course, have a, like a little smaller one with 482. So that's going to be interesting. So uh, this is Crown of Darkness. This is book two. So, yeah, if you rem remember, I have read Promise of Darkness. These are the two next, so we are, I can't wait. Then we have one last book in here, and that is Jade City. So, I don't know if I will get to this one this week, this, not this week, this month. Uh, but I will definitely see. And if not, I will read it next month. But overall, I just need to get to some of these um, this month. So I will always try to get to between four and five of my 12 uh, books that I want to read this year. So, yeah. That was what was in this package. So I have... Um, read a little bit more in right now I'm just focusing on spare and then see if I get to like another one next like I don't know it really depends just because I want to finish one of them before the second because then I get another audiobook so in so yeah let's just see how everything goes but um these are the books that I received and I can't wait to read. Like, I am excited for all of these. So, it's going to be really, really interesting to read all of these. So, it's Tuesday. Wednesday, Wednesday, it's Wednesday. So, um, this was supposed to be like me reading, like, only read like new like new releases for January. Um, we are uh, so much further like, away from that right now, to be completely honest. Um, so, let's just say that the book club I am a part of, we have a like reading TBR challenge and Let's just say that I have read two books for that today and my brain is fried and I have read another book. So I've spent like 10 hours listening to audiobooks. Which is a little bit too much. So this will be like reading probably like three new general releases and then other books as well. Because I get kind of competitive when it comes to like reading challenges. So... I have not picked another prompt for this right now, just because um, I don't feel like picking any one when I'm going to bed. But three books that I finished. So the first one is uh, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. And this we are following Bruno. And this is a historical fiction set during World War II. We are following nine-year-old Bruno, who basically moves, moves from... Berlin to Poland. I think it's I think it's Poland. Or Poland? Yeah, probably something in those lines in Poland. And uh, basically um there is this fence and he needs a boy on the other side. And it's basically that story. So yeah. It's it's quite sad. Uh, did I cry? No. Uh, I give it three stars. It has been on my TBR for years. Uh, I have seen the movie. I think I 
like tearing up more in the movie than I did in the book. Uh, I just maybe three stars or on Copilot and ended up as a three stars. So overall, it was good. I mean, sad because of the timestamp. So that was that. Then I finished Spare. Right, kind of right after. I just felt like finishing that. I've not given it rating because I don't rate memoirs. Um, what I can say is that this is not my favorite memoir. I feel like I like memoirs that are, are I don't know, just because I know nothing about this world and I cannot say anything about this world so yeah but it's you know him telling his story his side of the story and yeah I, I really don't know what I'm going to say about this book because I have no idea kind of all my feelings about it just because it's difficult to kind of know what I am thinking about this and everything just because it's not my life let's call it that I mean it's it's sad that everything has become like this but yeah I finished there and um I, I am not going to I, I mean I have seen so many people on you know on Goodreads being like I am like on this side or on this side I don't feel like picking a side because I don't know the full story you know he he's telling his side of the story but what is the other side of the story I don't know because I don't know these people and yeah and then the last book that I have finished is uh, The Song of Achilles and this is about Achilles and what's his name um patroclus and um, he gets exiled and um, basically gets to this island where achilles is and it's kind of their like way basically you know i feel like almost half of it is war not even half of it but kind of almost half of it is war and yeah so i gave it three and a half stars i do think that this book is something that you have so great expectations of because you are just bombarded with oh this was so sad this was so good i liked it three and a half above like of average let's call it that didn't love it to be 100% honest i didn't love it um i think that my expectations maybe was a little too high to you know yeah but i liked it it was good it's yeah it's just not something that i 100% loved but i mean everyone else says did i cry no sometimes i feel like i am just so heartless when it comes to books because did i cry no was this was this could this be a sad story yes if you are loving the characters i didn't love the characters i think it was like a six maybe a copile so i mean above average but i didn't love them i didn't fall in love with them but that was what i read today if we were keeping this up we will get a lot i think i listened to like 10 hours today so i'm going to bed to sleep and then see hopefully i will finish the reunion tomorrow so i can you know get to the other book that i don't remember the name i never silver like flames and uh, night like silver i don't know yeah okay so it's friday and i have finished uh the reunion and i gave it 4.5 stars i really 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 like this it was really cute it's a really slow it's a slow burn one 
and I liked it and uh, I don't know what else like to say I really really liked it it was cute and I did not want to put this down and um, yeah it's it's definitely something that I would actually consider buying um, so this one is a clean one pre pretty much a clean one and yeah to be completely honest I really really liked it and yeah I don't really know what else to say 4.5 is a really good star rating and uh, yeah I just really think that you are either, either, you are either going to really like this or not I really liked it I mean I love a slow burn romance and um, yeah really cute and uh, yeah I mean these are in like the, their 30s I do believe and um, yeah it's refreshing to read someone who is older but you know still I mean 30 is not old but older than you know 20s so yeah I really like this I only have one book left and that is I don't remember remember the name we are not going to try and butcher it again so let's see if I can get to that this week um, if not it's not like a disaster because I have read two but it would be great I have six hours left I do believe so if I listen to two hours every day I will finish it within a week like within this week so let's see how it goes and yeah I'm gonna start that one and then we will see so it's Sunday so I'm gonna wrap up this vlog um, but I have finished two more books because I don't think I talked about the governess game and then I am going to talk about the book that I will finish today because I I won't you know uh, give it a rating so the first one is um, the governess game so this is a historical fiction historical romance uh, from Tessa Dare I love this author really so we are basically following this he's not their dad but he is their guardian uh, for two girls and basically he is going they have been driving their governess all the governesses uh, like crazy so they have quit it quit it and then this girl comes barging barging in and basically he hires her as a governess so it's their romance he don't want anyone he don't want children he don't want like a marriage he don't want anything but it's a romance it's really really quite sweet I gave it four stars so yeah I really really liked this and um, yeah it was really cute I really liked how she tried to connect with the, the children because she was just like in the beginning they don't need to I don't want to teach them anything before they actually trust me because they didn't want to listen and I really like that about her like I want to connect with these children because they need love because they don't have anything and um, yeah it was really really sweet and yeah then I finished a uh, song of silver flame like night uh, I have been struggling <laughs> to remember what this book book's name is for the entire week so this one it's like a, a Chinese mythology like YA book and we are following two characters Lan and Wen no I don't re remember his name um so I gave this 4.5 stars I really really liked it I listened to it as an audiobook and it was really really good for my taste it was good uh, I cannot say anything about the, you know, representation because I am obviously white. Um, but I really like the story and, um, yeah. 
it's really an interesting concept because you basically can do like different things uh, with yeah different things like yeah and um, basically uh, I think her name is Lon she basically has this seal on her arm that no one can see but her and then she meets a boy who actually can see this seal as well so he takes her to the school that he's a part of and basically there are these other I think their name is Elantians that are following her because she basically has something that they want so it's so yeah this was really really good and I this is the first in a series I don't know if it's a duology trilogy or anything but yeah let's just say it's gonna be a pain to wait for at least like a year for the next book um but yeah this is definitely a book that I want to own in the future so yeah and then the book that I will finish today is uh, I'm glad that my mom died so I will get to this later on today um this is for the book club that i am a part of uh basically i am on time out now um basically the reading challenge basically is named um oh wow uh, and then there were none no uh it's something with dead i don't remember this is so bad i have to check it out i was correct and then there were none and basically you pick a prompt and basically once you have picked the prompt and start to read uh, you have these three killers that are able to kill you and then you you don't you can't read for 48 hours or you can do a comeback challenge and um then you have 24 hours so i will read later on today but i won't give it a rating because it is a memoir i don't rate people's life uh but so far i'm liking it so far it's interesting so i feel like i like i can like memoirs and stuff like that if it's told in a way that is like twisted into a little bit of like um comedy style so just because when people talk about their life i just get a little bored uh, once they are like only talking about their life this happened this happened this happened i just get a little bored once it like told in a way that is like kind of a com comical way it's more interesting i mean it this topic because obviously her mom died as the title suggests is a heavy topic but she is like trying to not make his act as, as this depressing as you know the thing is but yeah that was all the books that i basically i'm going to finish today have finished and everything like that i have finished so many books and we are on the fifth i think i have finished finished like five or six books this week this yeah <laughs> this month um so yeah it's kind of sick but that was it i hope you liked this video and i will see you next time for another one bye <music>